Good morning once again. Uh, we're back on our series on the book of 1 Samuel. And uh, we entitled this series, Growing Deeper in God. Uh, before I continue, let me tell you my story. When I was a child, I used to play Scrabble with my friends. At meron po akong strategy kapag kaalam ko po na parang matatalo ako. Ang ginagawa ko, ginugulo ko po yung tiles. And so, uh, wala na silang magagawa, wala nang mananalo. And I hated the feeling of defeat. Ayoko po na matatalo po ako. And so, in my mind, kapag ginulo ko yung game, wala po nanalo. And uh, I was so insecure, I was so selfish and immature during that time. And I realized na ito po ang mentality po na ito. Marami pong mga tao nag struggle dito sa mentality na ito. You probably heard of the term crab mentality. So this is a an attitude wherein we try to pull others down, especially people who are uh, better than us, who merong mas um, magaling, mas matalino, uh, mas mahusay, mas skilled and talented kesa sa atin. So what do we do when we are insecure? We try to sabotage them, uh, we, we try to harm these people and oppose them because uh, naiinggit po tayo po sa kanila. And what happens if this mentality enters the ministry? It would ruin uh, many people's lives. And so, uh, and that's why ang ating pong message ngayon pong umaga, ay, uh, this is entitled Insecurity or Victory. And this is a uh, study of the life of two people. And dito po sa chapter uh, 18, uh, it, tayo po ay sumusunod sa ating pong series. We are now on the life of David, but here we see these two people together and may kita po natin yung pong conflict between uh, these uh, two people. So let me uh, read uh, first Samuel chapter 18 uh, verses 5 to 9. Samahan niyo po ako na buksan po natin ang ating pong mga Bibles. Sabi po dito sa so verse 5, and, and David went out and was, was successful wherever Saul sent him. So that Saul set him over the men of war, and this was good in the sight of all the people, and also in the sight of Saul's servants. As they were coming home, when David returned from striking down the Philistine, the women came out of all the cities of Israel, singing and dancing, to meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments. And the women sang to one another as they celebrated, Saul has struck down his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And Saul was very angry, and this saying displeased him. He said, They have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. And what more can he have but the kingdom? And Saul eyed David from that day on. So we see here yung pung uh, uh, conflict ano, between uh, these two people, these two kings, uh, si Saul at saka po si David. So, before I continue, let me just uh, uh, give you the overall message of this, uh, uh, of this sermon. Uh, pwede po ba natin basahin sabay-sabay? Be intimate, not intimidated. Again, be intimate, not intimidated. And so, in cha chapter 18 starts with... Uh, uh, these uh, two people, si, si Saul at saka si David, bakit po sila magkasama sa chapter 18? Because in chapter 17, uh, nadun po yung story po ni David at saka po ni Goliath. Natalo po ni David si Goliath. And uh, si Goliath was a champion of the Philistine army. And so during that time, wala pong makatalo po na Israelite po sa kanya. And they were, uh, uh, they were defeated by the Philistines. But David uh, was a hero. And so, natalo niya po ito pong uh, giant na ito na si Goliath. And so, in chapter 18, verse 1 and 2, makita natin yung setting dito nito pong story po natin. Ano? Kung saan, si David po ay inimbitahan uh, ni Saul na maging part ng, ng army o ng kanyang uh, kingdom, ng administration po ni Saul. And uh, in chapter 1, we also read that Jonathan became uh, David's uh, best friend. Now, in this passage, Para maintindihan po natin ito pong uh, story po nito, uh, this is a contrast. Ano? Uh, by the way, yung book po ng 1 Samuel, yung pong author, meron po siyang strategy dito po. All throughout the book, makikita natin that he used to do uh, 
ito pong strategy nito which is contrast ano kung naalala niyo po mula po do sa chapters 1 and 2 o sa chapter 2 pa lang makikita natin na uh, uh, yung pong uh, si si Samuel siya po ay kinontrast dun po sa mga anak po ni uh, ni Eli And so here in this chapter we see a contrast between Saul and David. And Saul was a rejected by uh, rejected by God as a king while David was anointed by God as king. And so uh, ito po yung outline ito po ng ating message ngayon pong uh, umaga. Number one, the insecurity of Saul and number two, the victory of David. So doon po muna tayo sa unang bahagi, the insecurity of Saul. And we read in verse 5, And David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him, so that Saul set him over the men of war. So it was Saul who uh, uh, put David in that position. Siya po ay naging general, naging leader po ng, ng army. And this was good in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. Uh, Tinan po natin mabuti yung pong nangyari, ano? Yung pong mga servant po ni Saul and all Israelites, they they were happy to see David uh, being part of the Israel army. And uh, in verse 6, And they were coming home, and David returned from striking down the Philistine. The women came out of all the cities of Israel. So sinalubong po sila, and they were singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tambourines, with songs of joy, and with musical instruments. And in verse 7, And the women sang to one another as they celebrated, Saul has struck down his thousands, and David his ten thousands. And Saul was very angry in this saying, and this saying displeased him. So siya po ay galit na galit dun sa narinig po niya. So first, dun sa mga unang uh, chapters, makikita natin, o mga previous chapters na These people, as si David as si Samuel, they were uh, ally, ano, magkasama po sila sa isang team, sa isang army. But eventually, they became enemies, mortal enemies. And how did it start? It started in this part, in verse uh, verse 7, when the woman compared Saul uh, to David. At para po kay Saul, napakasakit po nito pong comparison po na ito. Ano po ang kanya pong uh, naramdaman? He, he was so angry towards uh, David. And uh, and this is the problem, a problem if you are in a uh, public uh, ministry or in a public position. Talagang yung mga tao po, lagi po yung uh, meron pong masasabi po na comparison sa atin at saka sa ibang tao. Ngayon nga po sa sitwasyon po natin, ano? Yung po, if you're a public official, be ready because yung po mga tao, they try to compare. Uh, sinasabi nila, yung mayor na, buti pa kayo, yung mayor nyo magagaling. O yung mayor nyo, uh, mga excellent. Pero yung mayor namin, nasan na, hindi namin makita. So, that's the attitude of people kapag uh, po, uh, we are in a public position. And so, ano po, hindi natin may iwasan po na may mga masasabi po comparison ng mga tao. And uh, nor it's normal because people uh, they they try to uh, to compare uh, others. And you cannot control what people will say to us, but what we can control is our reaction. Dum po sa mga sinasabi po ng tao sa atin. And this is the question that we have to ask: Should I be affected by other people's opinion about me? Kasi kapag ka po tayo po ay nakinig, ano po ang mangyayari? we will be insecure we will be intimidated with other with other people na kinokumpara po sa atin and so soul could not contain the comparison hindi niya po kayang tanggapin po yon eh. and this is the attitude of insecure people insecure people are busy comparing them, themselves with others and they get their self worth from people's opinion of them So kapag uh, meron pong uh, masamang komento or opinion sa kanila yung mga tao or mabuting opinion sa kanilang tao, doon po nila binabase ang kanilang pananaw patungkol sa kanilang mga sarili. And this is the reality. If we will think about, uh, if, if ito pong mga sinasabi po ng mga tao ay mag, uh, 
mag, magpapa-apekto po tayo sa mga opinion po ng iba. We will be very, very tired, mga kapatid. Dahil nakakapagod po na i-please po ang ibang mga tao. So here we see the reasons why Saul was so insecure. Number one, he desired people's approval. He wanted to please people. And uh, second, uh, we, we read in verse 8 yung reason. Saul was very angry. And he said, they have ascribed to David ten thousands, and to me they have ascribed thousands. And what more can he have but the kingdom? So he was thinking about his kingdom. Because there is a threat to his uh, position, si David. And we remember in the previous chapters, uh, kung saan kinonfront ni Samuel si Saul, uh, he, he told him that God had replaced him because uh, he did not obey the voice of the Lord. And so uh, Samuel said, uh, the Lord has sought a man after his own heart. And siya yung ginawang hari ng Panginoon. And so it keeps on repeating and repeating sa isipan po nitong si Saul that someone has already replaced him to be the king. And so he did everything. And so in verse 9, Saul I David from that day on. So nagkaroon siya ng matinding puot. Galit dito po kay David. Lahat ng ginagawa ni David ay uh, sa kanyang isipan ay... Uh, Mali para po sa kanya. And in verse 10, uh, The next day, a harmful spirit from God rushed upon Saul. So, meron pong uh, harmful spirit. And sa ibang mga salin, uh, a distressing spirit. Many scholars, uh, they uh, uh, explain that uh, this could be a uh, mental disorder uh, na pinagdadaanan ni Saul because he was severely anxious about uh, his position. And so, uh, he tried to kill David. He raved within his house while David was playing the lyre as he did day by day. Saul had his, his spear in his hand and Saul hurled the spear for he thought, I will pin David to the wall. So, uh, he, he wanted to kill David. And ito po yung nagagawa ng insecurity po sa atin. Uh, at first, meron lang pong galit ito pong si Saul kay David. But it... Uh, uh, it grew, ito pong kanya pong damdamin towards David. At yung kanya pong galit, nagkaroon na, uh, it intensified to thoughts of murder. And uh, he, he tried uh, to kill David not just once but several times. Maraming pagkakataon na sinikap niya pong patayin ito pong si David. And uh, to the point that uh, there was a time, uh, we read in, this, in the next chapters, that... Uh, Saul also killed 80 priests because tinulungan po nila si David na makakain. And dito may kita natin that Saul would do everything uh, to keep his position. He, was, he became so obsessed with power. And that is all that matters to him. He was willing to do whatever it takes uh, just to uh, keep his position, including uh, harming other people. And harming his own family, he would he would give everything for his position, and because of that, he was so anxious, miserable, lonely, angry, and fearful. And this is what insecurity does sa ating pong mga buhay. It uh, poisons us, our character. And ang nangyari po dyan, because sa sa dahil po sa uh, sa insecurity po natin. We may, it may result to committing sins. Marami pong iba pang mga kasalanan ang ipinapanganak dahil po sa ating pong insecurity. It could result to resentment, slander, coveting, murder, idolatry. But bakit pong idolatry? Because si Saul, uh, yung kanyang position became his idol. That uh, everything revolves around his position. And what was the effect of this uh, uh, insecurity case Saul? Nawalan po siya ng great ally. We know that David is a good, a great servant of King Saul. He was so loyal to King Saul. And he was a good man. He could, he could have been Saul's asset. Imagine, they were, they were in one team. But Saul thought na ito pong si Samuel, or ito pong si David, is a threat to him. And ito pong, uh, ang nangyari po, uh, ito pong pangyayari po na ito, nakakalungkot kapag po nagkaroon po tayo ng ganitong mindset. 
especially in the ministry of the Lord. Sana wala po tayong ganitong mindset. We should see each other as uh, as ally. Because kapag po nakita natin yung iba as threat, then it would ruin our ministry. Ano po, marami pong mga uh, lingkod o ma- marami pong mga nagsaserve sa ministry. They uh, fail to to train many people in the ministry because they are afraid uh, to uh, that someone may take over sa kanila pong position. So, we should not do this in the ministry because we should help each other uh, grow in the faith in the ministry of the Lord. And so, we, we should see each other na meron po tayong uh, role na gagampanan. And uh, sana po, wag po natin tularan po ito pong uh, insecurity po ni Saul. Now, he lost David. He lost a good servant. Now, if you're a great leader, ala, uh, David could have been an asset para po kay Saul. Uh, maaari niya pong uh, si David na uh, maging uh, asset sa kanya pong kaharian because he was great in defeating the enemies. And so, maaari pong maging positive po yun para kay Saul. Pero hindi niya po nakita yon as positive. In fact, he tried to kill the person who is part of his team. And so number three, so he craved for power. Number three, we see here another reason why Saul was uh, anxious or insecure. Verse 12, Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him but had departed from Saul. Ang problema po pala talaga nitong si Saul is that his relationship with the, with, the Lord, with the Lord was broken. And because of this broken relationship with the Lord, it resulted to insecurity. At the heart of Saul's insecurity is a broken, distant relationship with God. Hindi po okay ang kanyang relasyon sa ating Panginoon. This is the heart of the problem. The, heart, the problem of the heart. The reason why Saul was insecure. Ito, yung, ito na po yung pinakang matinding dahilan talaga kung bakit po siya insecure. Because he, he has broken relationship or intimacy with the Lord. He lost intimacy with God. And so, uh, as according to Leonard Ravenhill, a man who is intimate with God will never be intimidated by men. Again, a man who is intimate with God will never be intimidated by men. Number two, so again, uh, ang ating pong message is be intimate, not intimidated. So number two, we see we also see here the victory of David that in spite of Saul's uh, actions uh, toward David, ang Panginoon ay sinustain po, tinulungan po si David sa kanya pong mga situation o sa kanyang mga, uh, mga gawain. And sabi, he, letter A, he had success in everything. And you read that several in several verses. In verse 5, sabi dito, And David went out and was successful wherever Saul sent him. Verse 14, And David had success in all undertakings, for the Lord was with him. Verse 15, And when Saul saw that he, or David, had great success, he stood in fearful awe of him. Verse 30, uh, David had more success than all the servants of Saul. So, ano po yung makikita po natin dito? Yung pong victory po ni David. Sa kabila na meron pong uh, insecure, may mga, may mga tao na kumakalaban po sa kanya. Siya po ay nagtagumpay because he did not focus on uh, the people. He did, he, not, he did not focus dun sa kanyang mga op- opposition but he focused on God's agenda. So he had more success. And letter B, because the Lord was with him. Dahil kasama po niya ang Panginoon. And several times he, din dito po sa passage, makikita po natin yung reason kung bakit po nagtagumpay po si David. Sabi sa verse 12, And so was afraid of David because the Lord was with him. Verse 14, uh, 14 And David had success in all undertakings. Let me highlight this. For the Lord was with him. Dahil kasama niya po ang Panginoon. Verse 28, But when Saul saw and knew that the Lord was with David, uh, Saul was even more afraid of David. So, 
the Lord was with him. And see, here we see the reason why he had success in all his undertakings. It was because God was with him. The Lord was with David, whatever he did. And so, uh, mga kapatid, if you are a person na uh, marami pong mga nai-insecure or gumagawa ng mga actions, uh, or sabotaging you, your ministry, your life, focus on God. And let God defend you. Because He will do, uh, He will protect you from these people. Just focus on Him. And uh, just continue uh, serving the Lord. Focus on His agenda. And so what happened next in the next uh, verses, David was loved by people. Mas lalo po siyang minahal ng, ng mga tao, ng mga Israelites. And uh, in verse 5, he was loved by Saul's servant. In verse 2 and 28, he was loved by Michal, the son, uh, the, the, uh, the daughter of uh, Saul, and Jonathan, the, the son of Saul. Uh, David was loved by Israel and all Judah in verse 16 and verse 30. So this became the reason why David uh, uh, became successful. The Lord was with him. And so that is a question na dapat po natin tanungin sa mga oras po na ito. Is the Lord with me sa aking pong mga ginagawa, sa aking buhay? Baka ako ay nagpapakapagod, uh, baka ako ay nagpo-focus dun sa mga bagay na hindi ko naman dapat i-focus. And here we see a secret dito po kay David. He was intimate with the Lord. And yung kanyang relationship sa Panginoon ay napakahalaga na naging dahilan kung bakit po siya nagtagumpay. And so we see here the application. Again, uh, be intimate, not intimidated. So paano po natin may apply po ang message po natin? Number one, we have to be, uh, to have a, we need to have a secured identity in God. Ang just po ay binigyan po tayo ng identity. We have to grow in our relationship and intimacy with the Lord. Para maunawaan po natin kung sino po tayo. God has given us an uh, identity. And as you grow in the Lord, you will realize that your God-given identity is what will make your life or what will make you a, uh, will give you a true sense of fulfillment. And so, this is a very crucial question, mga kapatid. Yung ating pong identity. Who am I? And it talks about... Uh, Kung, kung sino po tayo. And another question na mahalaga po is, why, why am I here? That is a question of purpose. Again, who am I and why am I here? Bakit po mahalaga po yung tanong po na yan? It gives us security once we know who we are and why I am here. So, pag tinan po natin yung mundo, ang dami po mga nangyayari sa ating pong paligid. And we might get lost. We might think na parang ano ba ba ang layunin ng aking buhay kapag ka po hindi po secured ang ating relationship sa Panginoon then we uh, everything that happens sa ating pong mga buhay we can consider other people as threat sa ating pong uh, position if you do not know your identity and purpose you will be frustrated and insecure and so yan po ang problema po na ng marami pong mga tao that's why they became insecure is because they get their identity from the wrong source. Kapag mali pong pinagkunan natin ng identity, mali, magkakaroon po tayo ng insecurity. Some people, they uh, get their identity from the people around them. Some from their family, from their friends, and from the opinion of the public, of the people. And so because of that, they are so distracted. And they uh, do not know yung focus po nila, kung ano po yung uh, layunin po ng Diyos sa kanilang mga buhay. So we, have to, we, need to need, we need to have a secured identity sa ating pong Panginoon. Number two, we need to stop comparing uh, yourself or ourselves with others. Huwag na po natin ikumpara yung, ibang, yung sarili po natin sa iba. Because every person is unique. God has given us... Uh, individual strengths and weaknesses. So yung uniqueness po natin contributes to the success of our organization. Huwag po natin ikukumpara yung ating pong sarili because that will be very, very frustrating. We have, uh, 
uh, different giftedness. Bigyan tayo ng Diyos ng iba't ibang ability. So, pagsamasamayin po natin yun, pagtulong-tulungan po natin para magtagumpay po tayo bilang mga Kristiyano. Huwag na po natin isipin, don't ever think that the ministry is a competition. So, isipin lagi natin na yung bawat isa con uh, is contributing to the welfare of our uh, ministry. And number three, we need to celebrate other people's victory o yung kanilang pagtatagumpay. Especially if the people's, uh, if these victories are in the ministry because the, the successes of the people in the ministry contribute to the overall mission of the church. So be happy, maging masaya po tayo if some people uh, step up, meron pong mga mas humuhusay pa. Ay nga po ang nakakatuwa doon kapag ka po ikaw po ay isang uh, disciple or isang leader, dapat maging masaya ka kapag ka meron pong mga disciple ka na mas gumagaling pa sa iyo. It means you are effective in doing in discipling these people. And what would I may insecure? Let's uh, celebrate people's victory. Kasi kung ganito po 'yun, kung meron pong ikaw tatlong lobo, ako may dalawang lobo, siya meron isang lobo. Ilan na po yung lobo po natin? Meron na po tayong anim na lobo. Pero pag pinutok natin yung lobo ng iba, let's say, yung dalawang lobo ko, pinutok ko yung tatlong lobo nung, nung kasama ko at yung isang lobo nung isa pa namin kasama. So, dadalawa na lang po yung lobo namin. Wherein, kapag po pinagsama-sama namin yung mga lobo po na yun, marami. Maraming balloons. Uh, what do I mean here, mga kapatid? God has given us giftedness bilang isang church Gagamitin po natin yung tulong-tulong po tayo. And every role na ginawa, na binigyan ng Panginoon sa atin, that will contribute for the expansion of His kingdom. So wag po tayo ma-insecure. Matuwa po tayo kapag ka po meron mga ibang tao nag step up. This means that the kingdom of God uh, is continuously expanding. And so again, uh, this is our message, be intimate, not intimidated. Naalala ko po, ako po ay napaka mahiyaing tao. I was so insecure. I was so afraid of the crowd. I was so concerned of people's opinion about me. So insecure. But this is what happened when I knew Christ. It, Christ gave me a new identity. He said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Behold, the new has come. And the old has gone. And that's the good thing about the Lord. He wants to give us new life. Bagong buhay. Kung tayo po, marami mga pagkakataon, yung ating pong puso na preoccupy ng insecurity, especially sa mga tao na kapaligid po sa atin. Pwede yung mga classmate natin, naging successful na sila. O yung mga uh, kaibigan natin, tayo na lang yung naiiwan. Wait for your time. Focus on the Lord. Be intimate with Him. Especially now sa mga pinadadaanan po natin ngayon na situation ng ating pong bansa, we are on a lockdown. We can take this opportunity to grow to grow uh, in our relationship with the Lord. To draw nearer sa ating pong Panginoon. At uh, noong mga kapatid, yung sense of uh, yung relationship natin sa Panginoon, yung lalim ng ating pong relasyon sa Panginoon, ay magdulot po sa atin lalo na magkaroon po tayo ng sense of identity and purpose. Ano yung iniisip po po nito mga nakarang araw? Napakahalaga po ng mga kapatid yung, yung sense of purpose. Dahil ang tanong po dyan, bakit po ako naririto? Bakit pa ako buhay pa hanggang ngayon? Because God has a purpose for my life. God has a purpose for your life. So you need to to focus uh, sa uh, yung kaugnayan sa atin sa yung Panginoon and that will affect everything even yung pananaw mo sa yung sarili at sa yung pong buhay. And just try to imagine if people will have a secure relationship with the Lord. What let try, let's try to imagine if every one of us instead of bringing people down we we start lifting people up we start uh, helping each other. Just try to imagine what a peaceful and uh, lovely world we will live, especially as 
uh, followers of Jesus Christ. That would be a great testimony to the people that we are helping one another, that we are building up one another because we have a secured relationship with the Lord. And because of this relationship, we shine and uh, we uh, uh, glorify the Lord through our lives. Again, uh, our message for today is this. Be intimate with the Lord, not intimidated by men. Tayo po ay manalangin. Panginoon, marami pong salamat. Because we know, Lord, that uh, sa mga pinadadaanan po namin ngayon, Panginoon, we have the security. And nais nice mo na maging pagkakataon ito para lalo kami lumapit po sa iyo. Mas lalo kami, Panginoon, magtiwala po sa iyo, Panginoon. Lord, marami po mga tao, Panginoon, ang na napupuno ng insecurity ang kanilang mga puso. Tulungan mo po kami, pang tulungan mo po sila ang bawat isa po sa amin. Dito sa kahinaan po namin. There there is a, a tendency Lord na kami po ay uh, makipag-compete sa ibang tao. Lord, patawarin mo po kami sa mga pagkakataon na naging uh, uh, nakita namin ibang mga tao as uh, competitors instead of co-workers or teammates. Lord, tulungan mo kami na magkaroon ng bagong perspective at mas lumalim ang aming kaugnayan sa iyo, ang aming pong relasyon sa iyo. At patuloy, Panginoon, na maluwalhati ka namin sa aming pong mga buhay. Muli, Panginoon, sa iyo po namin, pretitiwala ang aming pong mga sarili, ang aming mga buhay. May we live a life that is pleasing to you, a fulfilling life that is honoring to you. Sa pamagitan po ng aming pagtulong sa aming kapwa, sa bawat isa, Panginoon, Panginoon, marami pong salamat. Ito pong aming dalangin sa matamis sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Amen, amen. Muli po, magandang umaga po sa ating pong lahat. Pagpalain po tayo ng ating pong Panginoon. Amen.